You are watching the Target 3.3 retest film. In this film, we're going to evaluate exponential functions and relate the meaning to the context of real-world situations. So remember, you need to pick up a white retest packet for 3.3, and you need to complete all of that before you are allowed to do any kind of retesting. In this film, we're going to do a few of the problems that are in the packet, and that will allow for you to do the rest. So let's start. Um, go ahead and turn the packet to number 1, 3, 6, and 8. We'll do all four of these problems on evaluating functions. So let's start with number 1. Notice it says find g of 0. So here's function g. We're going to put 0 in for the x. So z g of 0 is equal to 4 to the 0 plus 2, and then plus 1 out here. 0 plus 2 is 2. 4 to the square is 16 and 16 and 1 is 17. So remember we're going to be following PEMDAS and exponents come first, then multiply, then add subtract, as you will see in the next problem. W of 1, W is this function, we're going to put 1 into the exponent. So we need to do the exponents first, for the first is 4, and then we're going to do multiply, which is negative 8. Okay, and this last one, or number six, I should say. We're going to find f1. Well, here's function f. We're going to put one in for n. And here it is. This one I picked because it has something tricky, this minus sign. Now, it doesn't say negative four to that exponent. It says negative and then four squared. So this is really what it looks like. If it wanted negative 4 in there, it would say this. So we have negative, and then 4 squared is 16. So negative 1 times 16 is negative 16, and then we're adding 1, we get negative 15. Again, if it was this, we would do negative 4 squared. That's positive 16. 16 plus 1 would have given you 17, but not so in this case. Okay, and let's do the last one here, k of negative 1. It's function k. We're going to put one, negative 1 in for t. So we have 5 and then negative, negative 1. Notice that negative sign is also already there. And let's see. Negative, negative 1 is 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So that would be 25 minus 1 or 24. Okay, important that we follow PEMDAS as we go through these problems. And then keep this in mind, this little tricky negative sign, and what that means in relationship to this. If it would have said negative 4 in parentheses, it's a whole different thing. All right, let's take a look at a couple of word problems here. It says the number of moose in northern Minnesota is given by the function p of t equals 12,000 times 0.9 to the x power. And we can tell a few things here. So number 23 says, what? how many moose are there at the start of the study? The start of the study is at time 0. So p of 0 is what we want to figure out times 0.9 to the 0 power. And a lot of people will right away think that's 0 and get you 0 for an answer. But if we do that in a calculator, and I will actually bring the calculator over here so you can see this, 0 0.9 to the 0 power is 1. Anything to the 0 power is 1. So it's important that you see that. So when we do this problem, it's 12,000 times 1, or 12,000. Now this is in context, so let's make sure we write down what we have here, 12,000 moose. Okay, and then it says how many moose will be there after seven years? Well, we're really what we're trying to find is P of 7, which is 12,000 times 0 0.9 to the 7th power. And so on your calculator, 0.9 to the 7th power is this, and then multiply by 12,000. I end up with that. Now I'll write that whole decimal down. And you might think, well, what do we do with those numbers back here? Can we have partial moose? Probably not. So 5,739 moose is what we have left after seven years. 
and then when will the moose population reach a thousand animals? So to do a problem like this, guess and check usually works the easiest for now. We can do a table. So the amount of time and then the number of moose. And we, all we need to do is keep multiplying by 0 0.09. Now I'll use kind of what we had already. Um, 7 here was 5739. So let's figure out what 8 is. And 9. And 10. And 11. And 12. And 13. And 14. And 15. And 16. And remember, all I'm doing is multiplying by 0 0.9 each time. 17, 18, 19, 20. If I go up to 20, 14, 58, 23 is 1,063. And if I multiply by 0.9 one more time, 24, I get 957. So right in here, it's 1,000. So that's the, the, the process. Just keep multiplying by 0.9, figuring out how many years that is. And you would say between year 23 and 24. And there you have it. OK, this should give you a good um, start on these problems. Feel free and watch the movie as many times as you need to to understand some of the processes that we do in here. And if you need more help, feel free and see your teacher. Remember, you need to have this whole packet done before you're allowed to retest anything.